we'll talk about it off the offside at the weekend, which everyone's been talking about, and I just can't believe this. I mean, the offside, they're just too close, Howard. They're just too close. And uh, look at this situation here. Ball gets played through. One well, part of his body's offside. Well, maybe half of his left ball testicle is offside. How is that an advantage? There's no advantage. How is he offside? I was want an explanation. Well, Jamie, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for why this goal was ruled out, and I'm quite surprised that people have not seen it. What people don't understand about this situ this offside situation is that 12 seconds earlier, the striker has, has broke wind. He has farted, and that has, has not just created a bad smell to confuse the defenders who've got very dizzy off it. It's also a very loud noise, which has caused a lot of earache for the defenders. So they've, he's committed a foul, uh, as well as being offside, because his gas is in an offside position. So clearly, we had to rule that goal out. I mean, what I would say is that you can't always blame the VAR officials, you have to blame the striker. His pre-match meal of chilli con carne, you know, with extra jalapenos hasn't helped him. It's placed his fart in an offside position and that's why we've had to rule the goal out. VAR's got this one spot on, Jamie. What are you talking about? And look, I know I speak on myself for myself, the PGMOL, uh, the fourth officials, the linesmen and everyone that, uh, that works in the game. That you know, The reason that we've decided to disallow this Liverpool goal is that we all absolutely despise Jurgen Klopp, the big, horrible German bully. He's actually physically sprayed saliva over each and every official that he's ever came across. So we don't like him and that's why we're going to guarantee that Manchester City win the Premier League this season. We're going to just give them loads of penalties. Uh, we're going to give loads against Liverpool and just make lots of bad decisions against Liverpool as well um, we can't stand Jurgen Klopp and this is what he gets you know for, for, for being a horror uh, so that's the way that it works also Jamie I, I am a, a massive Manchester United supporter you know what I mean and people need to understand that so again I think they are getting the, those calls right Jamie oh everyone knows that you're just a criminal Howard a massive criminal and listen we all heard Mike Dean and we all you know you're just a gang of cheats Mike Dean came out on a podcast the week and said you know what he said Howard he said that he purposely didn't send his colleague to the monitor so he wouldn't get him in trouble. So he cheated in a game. What do you think about what Mike Dean said? Again, a perfectly reasonable explanation is that Mike Dean is a, a horrible, worm-looking, horrible little cretin of a man who just loves you know, getting loads of attention. <laughs> that is true, but I'll tell you something now. VAR is an absolute disgrace. You haven't got a clue what you're doing and your explanations aren't good enough. Get out of your shoes, you old soft lads. Well, Jamie, of course, it's been absolutely great. We've learnt absolutely nothing, as usual. Uh, VAR will continue to make loads of crap mistakes. But I just want to, while I'm here, Jamie, I'd just like to apologise on behalf of myself uh, and the PGMOL to all the Everton fans for all the guaranteed 600 mistakes we're going to make that make sure that Everton are relegated from the Premier League this season. These mistakes will not be flagged up, Jamie, because we all really, really want Everton to go down because it'll be a massive laugh and it's what they deserve. So that's the, I'm sorry, a, a big massive apology to the Everton fans. <laughs> oh, I couldn't agree more with that. Our best thing you've said all day. <laughs> you can come back after that one. Mm.